Welcome to Programming with Python course again. Today we are going to learn the computing basis. There are many programming languages like starting from C, C++, C Sharp, Java, Swift, Python, MATLAB. Right? Um, every programming language has a different ways of writing, uh, what we call it syntax. Right? Uh, there are different rules and how they convert it to a language that machine can understand. But the computing concept, how do we approach to write a software, to write a program, is the same. Right? So it is very important for us to understand the concept. Okay? How does it work? So when we write a program, the first thing is, uh, computing is all about the problem solving scheme, right? problem solving. So in as a programmer, as a developer, what you are going to do is you look at the problem and then you think how to solve this problem. First of all, you need to understand the problem and then you design and you implement a program and then you interpret it, you test it out and you do the refinement. Right? So depending on the, uh, the area, the problem that you are going to work on, you will think how to write a program. Okay? So what is computing? Right. So when you have the problem, you will start thinking. You will start think logically how to solve this issue. And then you have the knowledge and concept of wherever you have the knowledge and concept, you will apply this and you will start writing a program. So how does a computer work? Here I'm going to give you a basic introduction of the computing. All right. Um, every day we know uh, we use a computer. So many of us know how to use a computer. Right? Many of us know how to use a computer, but um, how does it work? Okay. The computers work in the binary. Okay. We talk in decimals. Right? So, like for example, at 21, we know that 21 is 2 times 10 power 1 plus 1 times 10 power 0. Okay. This is a decimal number. Right? But when you combine it to the binary, every place Every place is called bit, right? Every bit hold only either 0 or 1. That's why it is called binary. And then you create a number using this binary number. Right? There are many software tools here. You can convert from the decimal to binaries. Here, good news is you don't need to worry too much on this or this. I just want you to I just want to give you a basic understanding of how the computer works. Right? So now let's move on to write here program. When you start writing the program, uh, you typically write in the test editor. Okay? It is also called interactive development uh, environment, right? It's integrated development environment. You will write on that. Okay, you will write in that. All right. So in C, C++, how does it work is that uh, when you write in the test editor, it is called a source file, right? It's the same idea in Python, but it's the um, as a source file. Right, so this this uh, flowchart is mainly for the C C plus plus or Java. Okay, when you write in the uh, source file, what does a computer do? Is a compiler. Compiler will check the syntax. Okay, convert it to object file, which is uh, understanding about the by machine. All right, then this object file will be uh, linked out. Will link this object file to the required libraries and then uh, generate the executable file. Right. So for Python, it's slightly different. Python is an interpreted language. Instead of compiling, it will interpret and then um, generate the bytecode. Right. So now uh, let's move on to uh, writing a program. Okay. So when you write a program, first of all, let's think about uh, the variables. What we mean by variables, right? Let's imagine we are going to have a dinner. Okay. Your mom has good rice, meat, and um, uh, soup, right? So you will use a different plate to put all this meat or you will put everything in one plate and you eat like that, okay? So here, let's imagine you are going to use a different plate, right, to eat, okay, to eat the proper meal, right? So you will use a bigger plate for the rice, bowl for the soup, and a smaller plate for the meat, all right? Um, see, same way. All right. In your computer, when you work with the numbers, okay, if you or test, right, depending on the size of the your data, your values, you will use a different memory space. Okay, different memory space. These memory space are called variables. We call it variables. Each variable has two information: name and value. 
right? Next, we are going to talk about how to give the names of this variable. But now let's see a bit on the memory. Okay, for example, a is equal to one, right? For one, that's in my number one, you need only one bit of memory in the computer, all right? So you need a smaller memory space, okay? Likewise, when you increase the values, you will need a different memory size. Now, how to give this naming combustion to the variable, right? So when you give a name to your variables, always think about uh, uh, for the meaningful name, right? So each name should start with a character, not with a number. Okay, should not contain a special character like shared, dollars, and so on, right? And also don't use a bill in name. There are bill in name in each library, so we cannot use those bill in name, right? For example, here I give you an example of computer area of a triangle. Okay? So I give the name height, base, area. So it the name itself gives you an idea of what is the value it is. Okay? It is very important. Next, let's talk about the syntax. All right. So if you look at the first line, Python is easy, the first line, right? So this first line is so hard to read uh, because it doesn't follow the syntax of English language. Right? But the second line, if you look at this, Python is easy, right? Second line is much easier to read compared to the first line because it follows the syntax. Same idea. In your programming language, there are certain rules that you have to follow. Set so these are called syntax, right? So we have to let this syntax for us to be able to write a good program. Okay. Next, let's talk about Soroko. What do we mean by Soroko, right? Uh, Soroko is simple. It's as English. You write it before writing a program. You think in a logical way. For example, if it's rainy, I will sleep. Otherwise, I will go to class. This is what we decide every day, right? Day to day life. Okay, so if you write it down, this one is called zero code. From this zero code, we convert it to program, right? So now, the, all this you will recap and land it again when you start writing the program. Now let's get some programming example, okay? For example, in this exercise, I ask you to compute the area of a rectangle, right? Area of a rectangle. So there are two variables, uh, actually three variables, right? Two variables to hold width and height of the uh, rectangle and then to put the results, right, of the area, okay? Likewise, let's say if I want to get check if the number is even or odd, what will you are going to do? You will check if the number is divisible by two. If it's divisible by two, it is even, otherwise it is odd, all right? So for that, you will need only one variable to put that number inside this variable, okay? Then you will uh, divide this number by 2 and then you will do the comparison, right, with the remainder. So this is how the program works. You just need to think logically. From this, you can see that actually programming is nothing difficult, okay? It's not difficult at all. You just need to think um, in the day-to-day -day life, right? All the numbers, all the um, variables, and then this is how you solve the problem. So when you write a program, it's very important to keep your documents. Okay? Your program must be organized. Okay? Uh, good program code is not only about the professionals. It must be organized, it must be readable, it's well documented. So every line you can even uh, make the, when, when, a, when another user or another programmer read your progress, this must be able to uh, give a clear information. For you to for another person to understand code all right uh, this is pretty important okay i know uh, today lesson is a bit rush because i just want to cover over all of the uh, program programming computing basis next we will move on to the python when you start learning the python you will see the differences and then you will understand the uh, the syntax and pseudo codes how to think logically how to come up with the command and documentation Thank you. That's all for today. Thank you very much.